Howdy folks, we're back at it again in Blender and today we're going to be working with edit mode. So the other mode of Blender which we're going to spend a lot of time in but we're just going to give you a really quick introduction to edit mode. Okay, so we got our new uh, Blender here and we're going to go in here. Remember our rules of Blender to change the input, that's fine. Our input is changed, I can select the object and we're going to save all the time because we can easily mess things up and we're also going to come here for our third rule of blender and change this to cycles render and we're going to talk about edit mode so we have a cube here i've just created this cube i'm actually going to delete this cube and i'm going to add my origin point there or so it doesn't really matter i'm not too worried about it uh and i'm going to go in and add a plane. I'm going to scale this plane up so it's pretty big. What a nice looking plane. Plane, as you might know from math, is two dimensional. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually grab this plane and I'm going to put it on the z axis and put it as close to this grid as I can just so I can use this grid properly. There we go. So a plane is actually a two dimensional object. So if I try to go through it this way, it actually is, there's zero Z dimension to it. This is going to be useful for later. So think of it as like a really thin sheet, like a cotton sheet or something like that, that you can uh, barely see the thickness of, like a piece of paper or something like that. Now I know those things have sheets of paper, but this plane mathematically has zero Z depth. Okay, and we are going to go into edit mode with that. So you see down here where it says object mode, we are going to change this to edit mode. It's because there's different modes here, but we're mostly, or actually all of what we're going to do in Blender is going to be edit or uh, object. We're going to go to edit mode. Now one quick way to go in and out of edit mode is actually pressing the tab button. But you're going to go through these things quite quickly. So tab through them and now we're in edit mode. Now our cube is, or our plane is still selected. We could still use the A key to select things. So we have a cube here, or sorry, a plane here, and we're going to select it, uh, A, and now we, now we have a, that's thing. Now what does edit mode do? Now edit mode is a very powerful mode that allows us to change the shape itself. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So one of the things we can do is this, this button here called extrude. And when we extrude things, it means we can pull it up. Oop. What? We've just created a pizza box. Okay, so that's what extrude does, is it pulls it along the one axis you're pulling it up. So in that case, it was bounding it in every other uh, direction, except for the Z, and we pulled it up. Let's try that again. So we're gonna press the E button and pull it up. We can also pull it down. Comes negative space there, we can pull it up. All right, I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, so we've extruded it in one direction. All right, it's important because I'm going to show you a little trick here. So, what if we didn't want this whole thing to be pulled up? What if we just wanted part of it to pull, be pulled up? We're going to come back to that in a second. I'm going to delete this. Uh, well, I know, I know why that didn't work. I'm going to go back to object mode and delete it. Now remember in our last video we talked about the fourth golden rule of Blender which is don't add objects in edit mode. It's called edit mode and this is called object mode. We're going to do adding and subtracting of objects in object mode. If you add them in edit mode you might just mess up everything. So we don't want to do that. So we want to make sure we are in the correct mode when we need to. So I'm in object mode here and I'm going to add a cube. Here we go, a nice little cube. It added it at my origin point there, which I just happen to have there. And with this cube, I'm going to show you how a cube works in edit mode. So let's go to edit mode, press some tab to go to edit mode there, and we have a cube. Now you'll see that the whole cube is orange. Every face of that cube is orange. What if I wanted to pull one of the sides only? This is one of the important things about edit mode is that in an edit mode you can select different parts of a shape. There are three different parts to the shape. 
you can see those things here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this one, which is the face selection mode. I'm gonna press A to select nothing. And then I'm going to select one of these faces. Which one's it gonna be? This one, this one, <gasps> actually it's gonna be this one. Okay, so here I've selected that one there. And now when I press E, I pull it out. Isn't that cool? So I just grew it along the same axis the cube is already in. Like my face is still selected and I can go and I can go here, I'm still selecting faces and I can grab that face and I can pull that one out. And then I can go in 3D and I can pull this one out. And then I can pull this one out. Pretty neat. Now I can do things like this, I can pull it in, but you can see that kind of looks a little bit messy. It, it, it keeps the faces here, um, but it pulls it in the object. So it's not really the way you want to do that kind of thing. You want to build like a window frame or something like that. You kind of have to build that by hand, but I'll teach you that in a little bit later. Okay, so that's the face selection mode. So we've selected these different faces and we've pulled them out. All right, let's see what the other selection modes do then. So we have that. That's the face selection mode. It selects the whole face. Okay, this selects a line. So you see how that line lights up? Okay, now I'm going to choose something really tricky. So now if you select that, if you extrude it, press E, it's just going to pull the line up, which is not something that we usually want to do. So we're going to press the G button, which we learned earlier, and we're going to grab the whole thing up. Now we're talking. Now we have fanciness going on. Okay, so I suppose we selected that line. I want to pull that line out. You see how it's still attached to everything here, so it starts to pull everything along. So let's say we want to make a little spike out of this right here. Now that's not a line, that's just a point. Now what's a point along a complex three-dimensional polynomial called? It's called a vertex. So now you see we've selected this vertex. So it's not the point, it's, it's not the lines we've selected around it, it's actually the point itself. So if we zoom out there, and now we go outside here, and now we press the G key, now the whole thing comes out as a point. Okay, and that's going to be pretty cool for some of those things. I'm going to go back to my object mode here, and I'm going to select everything and delete it. And I'm going to add a, let's try something else. Let's try adding a icosphere. Icospheres are nice to play with because they, you can see the different faces and vertexes in them. Makes them a bit easier to work with than uh, spheres. And I'm going to go into edit mode there. And now we can change the different selection modes. I can grab one of these triangles that make up the icosphere. And I can extrude it. Ooh, doesn't that look weird? Okay, so that's the difference in extruding. Or I can grab a face and I can grab it. See how those are different. Okay, and then I can come here with a vertex selection. I can grab this. G for grab and make a big sort of old spiky ball here. Be careful how we do it because it is. You can, you can lock it to the axis x, y, and z. If you want to be really tricky, you can grab the whole object in object mode again. And once you have the whole object grabbed, you can rotate it to the various orientation you want so you can get it exactly the right way you want on the axis. So if you can grab, see this is helping you here, this circle. So if I wanted this point here to come out exactly at the axis that I want it to in edit mode. I can grab that vertex there and I can make that one come out on the, what is that? That's the Y axis, there we go. So I can come out in the right direction so it doesn't pull it all weird. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's press the one button there. Tricky thing in Blender. That's Mr. Goodman texting me sending me Slack messages about my Blender video. Okay, um, so we have a funny looking ball here, okay? I just wanna be really clear about the difference between extruding and uh, and uh, grabbing. We're gonna make a plane here. 
like we did before shift a mesh plane scale that plane up now how do we how, how do we deal with this how do we make this so that we can grab it if we go to edit mode there's only one big face how do we add faces to this thing well that's the real trick here so there's a tool here called subdivide we click that and now we've added faces to our cube or sorry our plane so see now we come in here and we can select one of these faces isn't that neat subdividing super handy okay so now we can extract this and we can make like this cool skyscraper land also known as a city there we go that's pretty neat but let's say now we wanted some antenna on this skyscraper. We can come in here and we can subdivide this. We can make it really tiny. We can grab a face and add a little antenna. That's pretty cool. Nifty. Now, the trick is, what if we wanted a spike on top of this? If I extrude it, it's not going to work. If I grab it, it's not going to work. So I need to go in here and subdivide it a few times. Then I need to select the middle vertex there. And I can press the G button and grab it. And now I have a little spike. We're going to learn how to grab. Oh, that looks terrible because I'm just probably going to want to grab it on the Z axis. There we go. We're going to learn a way that we can pull up more. If it's like a sheet, if you think of a sheet and you're pulling up more of it, we're going to learn a way to do that. But for now, Let's just play with that. We'll talk about the other things in class. Pretty neat. That's Blender, the advanced intro.